Welcome to episode 19, 18, 19, episode 19 of Minecraft Factions over on my server play. .skykid.net Today's episode, Hello Nigel, is a little bit of a different one because we're not going to be doing some raiding, we're not doing PvP, we're actually testing out an incredible new plugin that we've got on Skykid just to make things a little bit more unique, and that is the Custom TNT plugin. But before we do that, like always, I need to announce the winners of the giveaway. So in the last episode, I challenged you to get 350 plus likes, and in less than 24 hours, you've managed to get 359. You just made a G freaking G. So like I said in the last episode, because we beat the like record, I'm now going to give away five mystery keys. So congratulations to Cool Sector. So if you want the chance to win five mystery keys over on Skycade, then all you need to do is leave a like on this video and post your Minecraft IGN in the comments. And if this video gets more than 359 likes, which I'm pretty sure it should, that's quite an easy goal, then I'll give away the keys in the next episode, just like Cool Sector won them this time. So normally I only open one key, but this time I'm going to be opening three. And that is because I'm trying to increase my chances of getting some of the new items which I'm intending to demonstrate in this very video. Right, we're going to give it a right click. Also, some lucky trousers would be absolutely incredible. We got a mythical dress bit. That is protection six. So I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, yeah. And I've only got protection five on. So let's whack that bad boy on. Nicely done. But yeah, the only thing I'm missing if I do slash each chest is some lucky trousers. So hopefully we can get some of them or some of the new TNT that I'm going to demonstrate in this video. Here we go. What we're going to get? Uh, it's a piece of dead. What the hell, man? Draxxus MC has won one freaking dirt. And then we've got our last key of our triple the fun key opening session. Let's see if we can get something good. Come on. Go on. And it is protection too. No, that's, that's not what I want. No. So unfortunately, we did not win any of the new TNTs, but that's okay because in my inventory, I filled it with all of the crafting. Oh! Congratulations to Pants of Legs Open, who's just purchased 10 mystery keys, the wolf pet, and 5 extra mystery keys. Like I was saying, I've already got all of the items required to craft these TNTs, so let's get into it. So if you see in the chat there, it says, want to try out our new custom TNT? Type slash bombs to get started. So if we type slash bombs, then this little GUI shows you all of the new TNT that we've added. And then if you click on one of them, it shows you the crafting recipe for that TNT. So in this video, I'm going to go through each one, and I'm going to leave the Nova TNT and the Nuke to last, because those two are my favourites. So firstly, we'll do the Smoke Bomb TNT. So if we left click on this, it shows you how to craft it, and it is crafted with TNT and then four coal. So let's get ourselves into Joe's handy little coal chest. So we'll get three of them. There we go. And then we put the TNT in the middle. Lovely. And there it is, bloody look at that in my hand. Smoke Bomb TNT. This is completely vanilla, guys. You don't need any mods. You don't even need a texture pack. That's how awesome this plugin is. So I'm going to do slash wild. Who's this handsome devil I'm currently inside of? And then we'll try out this smoke bomb first of all. This is a lovely spot, by the way. Let's just slash F map, see if anyone's here. No, we're good. So if you look in the GUI and hover over the item, it tells you everything about it. Harmfulness of 14 hearts when you're at the center of the explosion, and when ignited, the players around it will get blindness and nausea. So you can just imagine during like a big factions war or something, this would be absolutely awesome. So let's get it placed down. We light it just as normal. We'll stand here because we don't want to die. We should stay like- Oh, there we go. So you can see that we've been given slowness 3, nausea 3, and blindness 3. Can you imagine how mental that would be during like a big PvP fight? <laughs> oh, that's better. <laughs> right, so we've set off the smoke bomb. So the next thing we'll check out is the mining TNT. So this is crafted simply with an iron pickaxe. So we do slash craft, and then we've got one mining TNT. Let's see if we can get another one, and then we'll get one more as well. Triple the fun, why not? So I'm going to dig into this little hovel a tiny bit, and then I'm going to set off one of these mining TNTs. So this TNT is designed to just destroy every single block that it breaks in order to just make mining a little bit more fun. So if we come through here, let's see what blocks we got there from that. So from this reasonably small explosion, we managed to get several stacks of cobblestone there, like a crazy amount, which is mental. The next one we've got is the time bomb, but this requires a redstone comparator and a clock, and I can't be bothered to craft those things. So just for the purpose of this, I'm going to go into game mode C and we're going to try this one out. So there isn't anything particularly special about this bad boy, it just looks super duper cool, and you basically just use redstone to decide exactly when it's about to explode, which you can imagine for like TNT traps and stuff would be really, really fun to mess with. Christ all my- No! Bunny Rabbit, get out of there! Bunny Rabbit, no! Oh my god. Oh god, no! <laughs> that was horrific. Oh no! Right, the next one we've got is the chemical TNT, and that is crafted with a rabbit's foot and the gas tier. Now, I don't actually have a gas tier yet, so I've got my home set in the nether, and hopefully we can find ourselves a gas. 
Oh! Turns out there's a gas stove ahead. Right, there he is, there he is. Let's get this guy ready. Oh, one shot for the lads. <laughs> and there we go. Chemical TNT. So chemical TNT puts horrible portion effects on all nearby entities. And then it'll also, like, kill foliage and stuff. So this looks like a nice enough area. It's got some flowers and it's got some tall grass. Let's place this down and light this puppy up. Oh, gee, oh my god, Jesus Christ, Christ almighty, ah, shout out to the rape lad who just purchased five mystery keys, GG. I had bloody protection five and six on there, and I still got absolutely hammered. We've actually only got three TNTs left, that's the napalm, the nuke, and the Nova, the bloody ends. <laughs> so you craft napalm with fire charges, which I didn't realize there was an actual recipe for, but you only need gunpowder, coal, and blaze powder, and then you get bloody free fire charges. Oh, yeah. So I don't think I explained this, but basically napalm TNT just shoots fireballs and creates a huge ball of fire. Let's place a few of them. We'll put one there, we'll put one there, and we'll put one there, and hopefully they'll set each other off. Oh, look at the ream, lad. He opened a mystery crate, and he got one nuke. Nice. <laughs> Let's step back a bit. Ah, I got stuck on foliage. Ah, Jesus. Oh. Okay, nice. Uh, is it set the other one off? Yes, it has. <laughs> okay, that was quite destructive. <laughs> Right, I've just TP'd to these guys because I thought it might be more fun if I test out the TNT with them. And as you can see, it looks like they've been testing it out themselves. So the final two are the nuke. Let's see how you craft this. It is crafted with the nether star, magma cream, and TNT. So I happen to know the location of a nether star. Thank you very much, Les. <laughs> so it's a nether star in the middle. Is it magma cream like that? And then I think it was just TNT on the corners. Is that right? Yes, it is. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, he says place on the mountain. That sounds good to me, friend. When Joe was testing these out, he said he was in creative mode, and he actually ended up dying in creative. That's how powerful these bad boys are. He wants me to place it here. Sounds good to me, monster. Do the honors. Oh, he's leaning, he's leaning. Ah! <laughs> Step back a bit. Is this far enough? They're getting a bit further back. Here we go. Go on. Go on. <laughs> I'm scared, guys. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm on three yards. Bloody no. <laughs> so we've only got one left, and that is the Nova, and that is crafted simply with four TNT and five Ender Pearls. I can do that. Get my monthly pearls placed down. There we go. One Nova TNT. He wants it right there. Sounds good to me, friend. Adam's joined the party. Do it. I'm excited. I hope they stay right there. That is exactly what I want them to do. Oh, she's doing it. And the Dragon Girl stayed right there. What a hero. Oh, my God. They've all been sucked in. <laughs> oh, my God. Where did they go? Where have they been? Oh. <laughs> Monster got chucked all the way over there. Oh, that was incredible. <laughs> Right, so that is every single one of the TNTs. How freaking incredible are they? Let's get ourselves into game mode C. And just for the end of this video, let's just mess around with a few of them. Oh, I've been sucked into the Nova. That's not what you want. This is weird. <laughs> Whoa. Right, I've set up a little warp for people to TP. And we'll just light all of these bad boys and we'll see what happens. I mean, they're just taking them. <laughs> oh, my God. That is incredible. <laughs> Alright, that's what you get for stealing my TNT, snapback. <laughs> what the hell's he doing without a pickaxe? Don't mind me, Di Diamond, please! <laughs> GLHF, Murky, my friend. Oh, he's making a run for it. He's bottled it. Oh, and he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, guys, that is it for today's episode. I really, really hope you enjoyed that. It was super fun for me to film, and I hope you enjoyed getting on the server and crafting yourself some of these incredible TNTs. And if you don't want to craft them, remember, you can win them in the crates like the Ream Lad did in this very video. And remember, if you did enjoy watching me mess around with the TNT, then you can click that like button down below. And if this video gets more than 359 likes, I'll give away five mystery crate keys to one of you lucky viewers in the comments. Only thing left to do now is the 1v1. This time it is pre-recorded, and you will see why in the video. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> So I've just been given a very interesting proposal from Broken Ankles. Basically he said that if me and him do a 1v1, and if I win that 1v1, I get a stack, or 63 in his case, of bedrock, which is a freaking crap ton, and I can build an entire vault with that. But if I lose, I have to sing a song of his choice in the outro. Oh, and he wants me to do Wannabe by the Spice Girls. Sure. Oh, there he is! It's bloody Willy from The Simpsons. <laughs> right, I've never ever PvP'd this person. I've no idea how this is going to go. Right, they've gone for it. They've missed off the bat. Oh, this is intense. There's a lot riding on this one. Uh, oh, they've hit me. I don't think I've actually hit them yet. You know what? I think I'm just going to have to run in with swords. I don't like this advantage thing. Right, I'm going in. This is it. A stack of bedrock. Come on. A stack of bedrock.
Alter, das wird mir fantastisch. Guck, 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 guck. Slaughtered by broken angles. No! <laughs> oh, they were on one freaking heart. Oh my god, GG. Oh, and there it is. It's my bloody bedrock. <laughs> so there we go, unfortunately for me. <laughs> I got slaughtered and I now have to sing Wannabe by the Spice Girls. Now I thought seeing this next episode is episode 20, which means a face cam episode. I should save it for then. So in my intro of the next episode, you'll get a bit of karaoke from me. So hopefully you're all excited for that. Thank you so, so much for watching. Remember to leave a like if you did enjoy this video and get yourselves on the server because this new TNT plugin is absolutely incredible and it's just so fun hi Nigel to mess with and I just think you'll have a lot of fun so the IP is player.skykid.net and I am kind of interested in making the 1v1s a bit more special by you know doing some kind of wager element to them like the one I did with broken ankles I thought that was a really good idea by him so I guess just get on the server and send me a message with your interesting proposal thanks for watching I'll see you next time bye